The red fin perch is plentiful in our lakes and waterways, but it's not a fish that attracts much attention here. Now there's a plan to farm the perch in New Zealand and export the fish eggs to the Northern Hemisphere. Erica Lloyd explains why. Perch are a freshwater fish native to Europe. They were introduced to our waterways in 1868, and the tourist has remained untroubled except by the odd angler until now. Paul Decker works out of a marine school north of Auckland. The institute contains this country's only productive accredited perch fish farm. The perch farming is already a uh, big business uh, right through Europe and the United States. I say to, I say to my students that if, uh, if they're making money out of uh, fish farming and spending euros, uh, you can make money in New Zealand. Maharangi Technical Institute is a marine school specialising in training for the aquaculture industry. What's clever though is their business as a research hatchery. Other species that are turning a buck are the freshwater cora, sold here to pet shops as a cute tank cleaner. And the eel is coming into its own too, with the hatchery attempting to get baby eels born in the tank and not stripped from the wild. But it's the potential of perch that has Paul exercised. I think we're talking into the million dollars pluses. Um, and it, what, what's so great about it, it's not like kiwi fruit where you export the plants and then they just, that, that's the e all over. This is where you're exporting eggs that will be eaten as mature fish. Well, not to this reporter's taste, perch with their firm white flesh are a fancy plate fish in Europe. The downside is they breed only in springtime. Some bright spark over there has come up with the idea that if they could produce them out of season, hence the southern hemisphere, uh, that the farmer can actually restock his tanks as he's emptying them. By bringing our southern hemisphere fertile fish eggs up there, European hatcheries can double their output. These, this lot are going to the, uh, fisheries, the Ministry of Fisheries hatchery in Ireland. Each ribbon contains a couple of hundred thousand eggs. Transport is cheap and problem free once the regulatory boxes have been ticked. It's four to five months to get all of the massive amount of paperwork and accreditation to export live eggs. Northern Hemisphere interests looked to Australia but found unwelcomed diseases. Our perch came up trumps. Our fish are disease free and have been um, audited by Biosecurity New Zealand on behalf of Biosecurity EU. If the trial proves successful, then a new export crop is perched on the brink of success. I see this as being a real kickstart to freshwater fish farming in New Zealand. This, this is it. It's happened. Erica Lloyd reporting there, and that's all in today's programme.